guys. So today I'm going to do kind of um, like a brown black smoky look. Um, it looks a lot darker on camera than it actually is. Um, I'm using pretty inexpensive makeup, my BH Cosmetics um, 120 palette and then my NYX smoky look palette. Um, and I've already primed my eye with Mary Kay's eye primer. So to begin with, I'm just going to use um, a fluffy brush and I'm going to take just kind of like this light brown. doesn't really have any shimmer to it. It's pretty matte. And just swirl the fluffy brush around in that. Kind of blow any excess off. And then you're going to go right in above your crease. So don't actually go into your crease because we're going to fill that with black. But just right kind of underneath your brow bone and above your crease. So we just want to blend that out pretty good. This is a pretty quick look too. Okay, now I'm going to take another fluffy brush. Um, this one's from Sigma. Thank you, Tanya Richards. Um, this is the blending, just the regular blending brush. And I'm just going to take um, a lighter black color pack that on. And you're going to start right above the lash line. You want it to be kind of darkest right at the very base of your eye. Okay, and then I'm not even going to use um, any more of the black eyeshadow because I'm just going to blend out what I've already put down. So you really just need to Kind of work this around. And you don't really want to blend much higher than um, the crease. Just because we're going to go back through it with something else. Make sure it's nice and dark right through your lash line. It's okay if it looks a little messy if you see mine. The edges are pretty rough and everything, but um, we're going to blend it out. So that won't be a problem. Okay. So now you're going to take that same fluffy brush that you used with um, the light brown. And I'm just going to go through with a little bit of a darker brown. This one does have a little shimmer to it, and it's almost got kind of like, um, it's like a, a red-brown. It's got just a little bit of red shimmer to it. It kind of looks like mud. Okay, and you're just going to go right in to blend out that really dark line. That way the line is kind of seamless. And go right into the inner corner too with that. Just because we want it to be really soft. Okay, pick up a little bit more. Okay, and I'm just going to pull at the edges just to soften them up. Okay, now I'm going to take um, a medium angled shading brush. This one's from Sigma as well. It's actually made for like the brow bone area. And I'm going to take my NYX Smoky Look Kit and I'm going to take this light peachy, peachy color. Tap that in. Just go right underneath the brow bone just for a little bit of a highlight and this is a pretty fluffy brush so it's actually really good for blending as well and so I'm just gonna go all the way around the edge that I just created with the brown with that peach it's kind of like a flesh tone
Okay. Now we're going to take a, just like a small eyeliner brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to go in with um, the kind of muddy brown color that we did. And this is just going to go right underneath your lash line. And I'm going to take this down pretty far. I'm not just going to, just going to kind of blend out the edges. Because I want it to be pretty dark. And if you have product on your fingers and you just smear it like I did, you can just kind of wipe it away. I just made it worse. Um, but we'll go back over that with foundation and kind of clean up any areas that have product transfer. Okay. So now I'm just going to go in with um, a little bit of Black Track for MAC using the same foundation or the same eyeliner brush. And you just want to paint that in right on your lash line. So not necessarily on your waterline. If a little bit kind of smudges up onto your waterline, then that's fine. Okay. Same black track for MAC. Any black gel eyeliner will do. And it's already pretty black, so you're not going to be able to see the definition. I just want to fill in any gaps that you might be able to see between my lash line and my eyelid. Okay. So you just want that to be nice and dark. Now, still using the same brush, I'm going to go through and take this really, the blackest black on this palette, and I'm just going to go over top of the eyeliner that I just did, just to help it stick a little better. And then the same thing underneath. I think this is a really good look for, um, you know, the fall and the winter. It's kind of darker, but you still have a lot of really rich tones and everything. Okay, before I do my mascara, I have some product fall out. Do you see on my cheek? So just make sure your fingers are clean or you're going to create more of a mess like I did earlier. And I'm just going to take my foundation brush and a little bit of my makeup using MAC Studio Tech. I just ordered um, some Cover FX. I've heard a lot of really good things about it, so I'm going to check it out and see how I like it compared to MAC Studio Tech. It's a little bit more expensive, but I heard that the coverage is really, really good and it's dermatologist recommended and everything like that. So to have something that's really full coverage and still have it be good for your skin is really good. Okay, so I just got um, a couple of blush kits from e-l-f e -L -F, and I got these online um, I'm not sure where you can find them. Randomly, you can find them at like Ross and stuff like that, but I actually really like them. The pigment's good, and I've read a lot of things online about how they're good dupes for NARS orgasm and stuff like that. Um, this one is the Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder one, and so I'm just going to go in with that. And just contour a little bit right under my cheekbone. And then take a little bit of the blush 
and just go right above that just to give a little bit of color. Okay, so this is the bronzer blush one. It doesn't really have a name for the blush. Um, and then I also got Peachy Keen. And both of these have kind of like golden sparkles. I don't know if they'll show up on camera, but they're really, really pretty. I like them a lot. And this one is in Candid Coral. So both of those are really pretty. I'm happy with them. Okay, um, I'm going to do my mascara and my eyeliner and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished it with um, doing my eyebrows and my mascara. If you want to see how to get perfect eyebrows, then check my other video on how to do that. Um, and then I just finished it with a nude lip. I did MAC Myth and NARS Turkish Delight because they're my favorites. Um, let me know how you like the look. Like I said, I think it's a good fall or winter look. Um, it's kind of dark and everything. It really doesn't look this dark off camera, so I'm hoping when I upload it, it looks a little different. But yeah, it's really pretty. Let me know what you think. Um, follow my blog. If you haven't done that already, it's free. And subscribe to my YouTube page. That's free as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.